Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Bob Gross. It's uh, 7.32 on uh, Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. I uh, hope all of you are having a good morning. So just got my cup of coffee going here. Uh, for the next three days uh, for our videos, um, I think it'd be great to go back to uh, the three great prayers of the act of faith, the act of hope, and the act of, of, of love. Um, so we're going to pray this today for our morning prayer. Um, and um, I'm, I'm going to pray it uh, together. You can look at it on the post. And then I just want to make a uh, one comment um, about it. Okay. All right. How about we uh, pray together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray with me the act of faith. Oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because you have revealed them, who are eternal truth and wisdom, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. In this faith, I intend to live and die. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So just a couple of comments about this great prayer. Um, the act of faith. So that's the first thing. It's an, it's an act of faith. We are given faith in our baptism, and then we have to make acts of faith. And this prayer is an act of faith. I believe, Lord. I say it with my mouth and I say it with these words. And we confess that God is a trinity. That's the central mystery of our faith, really. God reveals who he really is. That he is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Then the second person of the Blessed Trinity came down and became one of us and died for our sins and he'll judge us. So it's the it's the belief in the Trinity and the belief in the Incarnation and that we will be judged. Then we say these truths and all the truths taught by the Holy Catholic Church. And here's something that is really applicable to today. God cannot deceive, nor can he be deceived. In other words, whatever the church teaches is the extension of God's teaching. And he will never teach us error. He will never lead us astray. Okay. And we can never deceive him. which takes away suspicion. The act of faith takes away suspicion about God and his church. There's a lot of people who are suspicious about everything right now. What this act of faith does is, is deepen our sense of faith, of faith. That God is not pulling the wools over my eyes. God cannot lie. So um, make acts of faith today. As you're working through your day, I believe in you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I believe that you will take care of me. I, those, are, those are acts of faith, acts of faith. That's why the church gives us these words to help us make acts of faith on our own. I pray that you may be filled with faith in the Lord today. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day, everybody. We have Mass at
545 in Festina. Holy Hour at 430. God bless you.